Hey guys, welcome back to Sony's Outviews. In this video, I'll be showing you how to convert a lovable site to a WordPress team. But before we start, hurry up and check out these other just under this video. Let's get started. So if you want to create a WordPress theme from a site that you've generated or created here via Lovable, well, there are a few things that we need to understand. Now, creating a team here is quite complicated because the thing with Lovable uh, AI is they don't necessarily allow you to create a team uh, via this way, but you could use a very specific prompt here to force it into creating one. So what i'm talking about is you may want to type in the following so you could go and just create something similar to this one you could go and make it more specific if you want to include certain files in it but typically you need to make sure that you specify that you need assistance on creating a full one page wordpress theme file by file so you need to specify that this is file by file and also you need to specify that uh, the files that you need so first is the style.css file here index.php file and the functions.php file here and also optional files here if needed like header.php from uh, dash page.php and footer.php now once you've done this it might even ask you if you really want to proceed because again it's going to uh, recommend you a different method of uh, basically creating files here so you have a react base here and also a wordpress theme so since we want to go ahead and just create a have a WordPress theme here, just make sure to answer that this that says WordPress files as templates. Go so go for or if you choose that option, you go and just specify and reply to that. And once you've done that, it will start generating your files for you. As you can see right now, as just said, it, it generates some style files, index and function .php files for me, and also the optional file templates as well. But yeah, so what's important here is you need to make sure that you force a level AI here to generate those files for you. But once you've done that, you can go and just click on the uh, GitHub icon at the top right here and make sure to connect your account first. But I'm assuming you already done that. But once you have your account connected and your files in GitHub, then you can go and just open this up in a new folder or a new uh, tab here. And what you need to do is you want to go ahead and just basically download this file. Now, you can go and click on code here. Let's go and click on download zip. Now, wait for a while here. And once it's actually downloaded, let's go and just open the file itself. And with the file itself here, let's go and double click on it to open it up. Now, what I would recommend you try doing is you want to go and double click on this one. And you want to look for the WordPress dash team. Uh, folder here so you want to go and right click on this and you want to basically extract this one so you can go and extract this to any folder that you want so as an example maybe i want to extract this into my documents folder here as an example as you can see this is our wordpress file then you go and just right click on it and you want to go and just uh, basically uh, create is a file for this one because you'll be using this as a uh, file that you need to upload inside of your word uh, as a WordPress theme. So let's go and just choose uh, the compress to zip file option here and just wait for a while. Like you can go and rename this if you want. But once you're done, let's just let's just open up our uh, in this case WordPress website. So this is mine. So what we need to do is you want to go to appearance here and you want to go and click on add team. Now, you can go and click on Upload Team. You see at the very top here, as you can see, if you have a team in a zip format here, you can install or update by uploading it here. Let's go and click on Choose File. Now, since we added this into our Documents folder, let's go to our Documents. Look for the WordPress-Team.zip file here. Obviously, again, like what I said, you can go and rename this to whatever you want. Let's go and click on Open. And from here, just wait for a while. And you can go and just click on the Install Now button here to start the installation process. And as you can see, our team has been successfully installed. You can go and just click on the activate button. You can also go to Go Teams page here to basically see it if you want. So as you can see right now, uh, the preview is not working properly. But yeah, you can just click on activate here. Now, obviously, there might be some differences on the design itself. So you may want to do some adjustments uh, with the file itself. So you may you can actually ask Level AI to make those uh, adjustments itself. But that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.